today we're going to talk about proportional reasoning. Please make sure that you have your video notes and as you go through the video, pause it when needed so that you can get all of the notes completely filled out. The juice in the carton is made from orange concentrate and water. Both glasses have been filled from the same carton of orange juice. Does the orange juice in the two glasses taste equally orangey? What do you think? Well, let's compare. We know the juice for both glasses comes from the same carton. This first glass here, the one on the left, has more orange juice than the one on the right. Are their flavors going to be the same? Are they going to taste the same? Yes, they will taste the same. They're coming from the same carton. The only difference is that one glass has more juice than the other glass. But the ratio of orange concentrate to water is the same for both glasses. Therefore, it's the same flavor, the same oranginess. Okay, glass A and glass B contain the same amount of orange powdered mix. Have you ever heard of Tang? It's kind of like Sunny D, a fake orange juice but instead of it being liquid like Sunny D, it comes in powdered form and you just add water to it. So if you look at both glasses, they have the same amount of, of mix in it. So the first question, if one scoop of orange powdered mix is added to both glasses, which one will taste more orangey? So if we go and we add more of the powdered mix, more tang, one scoop to each, is that going to change the flavor of either glass? And if so, which one will taste more orangey? Well, both glasses started with the same amount of mix and they both had one scoop added. The same amount was added. So their orangey flavorness will still be the same. They will still be proportional. What could you do to the glasses so that glass B tastes more orangey? Well, there's a couple of different things you could do. One, you could add more orange concentrate. You could, to glass B, and it would be more orangey. You could take glass A and add less concentrate. You could keep the amount the same. And then just add water. And for glass A, you could fill it all the way to the top with water. And glass B, you could fill it halfway with water. Because there's more water in glass A, it dilutes the orange flavor, which means glass B would be more orangey tasting. Mrs. Thibodeau's orange juice recipe calls for three cans of orange concentrate and four cans of water. What is the ratio of orange concentrate to water? Okay, I don't know if you've seen orange concentrate before, but you can find this in the freezer, freezer section of the grocery store. And it's just like the orange pulp, it's frozen, and you mix it with water to make your orange juice. Okay, so what is our ratio of the orange concentrate to water? Well, if you count them, there's one, two, three orange to four cans of water. So it's a three to four ratio. Mrs. Rodriguez mixes a batch of orange juice recipe and she uses nine cans of orange concentrate and 12 cans of water. Did she use the same ratio of orange concentrate to water as Mrs. Thibodeau's recipe? Well, she uses nine cans of orange concentrate. So if we take our three to four ratio and if we were to double it, we would now have a six to eight ratio, but we want nine orange concentrates. So let's triple it. Now we have nine orange concentrates, and when we have nine oranges, how many cans of water are there? There are 12. So are these proportional? Yes. So yes, Mrs. Rodriguez's recipe is proportional. It's the same ratio of orange concentrate to water as Mrs. Thibodeau's. What happens, well, not what happens, but we can also use a ratio table to compare. So we create a ratio table for Mrs. Thibodeau and one for Mrs. Rodriguez. And we're going to label, we're comparing the orange juice to the water. We know that Mrs. Thibodeau has a 3 to 4 ratio. 
and Mrs. Rodriguez's ratio of orange juice to water is 9 to 12. And ratio tables are fun because there's different ways that you can use ratio tables. Since we want to compare, that means we want to find the same number of orange concentrates. We want to turn them into the same number. So I can take this 3 and I can double it and make 6. Or I could, you can think of it as listing the multiples, 3, 6, 9, and now here we go. Now they both have 9, 9 orange juice concentrates. So how much water does Miss Thibodeau use when she uses 9 orange juices? Well, list your multiples for 4, 4, 8, and 12. So when she uses 9 orange juices, she needs 12 waters. Mrs. Rodriguez, when she used 9, she needed 12 waters. And they are the same. They have the same ratio. Therefore, they are what we call proportional. And proportional just means that they're equivalent. They're the same. <coughs> Excuse me. So Ms. Lee makes a batch of the orange juice recipe and uses 6 cans of orange concentrate and 10 cans of water. Did she use the same ratio of orange juice? concentrate to water is Mrs. Thibodeau's recipe. So let's take a look at our two tables, our two ratio tables. Mrs. Thibodeau's is set up a 3 to 4 ratio and Miss Lee used a 6 to 10 ratio. So again we need to compare the ratios. So I'm going to list my multiples. I'm going to go from 3 to 6 and now they're the same. They both have 6 orange juices. So I need to compare their waters. So listing the multiples of 4, I have 4 and 8. So when I use six orange, or when Mrs. Thibodeau uses six orange juices, she needs eight waters. But when Miss Lee uses six orange juices, she needs ten waters. So the ratios are not the same. They are what we call not proportional. They are not equivalent. And you could do this, look at it this way. When we double our recipe, Mrs. Thibodeau's recipe, she now has six orange juice concentrates and there are eight waters. But when we had six over here, there were ten. So you can definitely tell that they are not going to be proportional. How will Miss Lee's batch of orange juice taste compared to Mrs. Thibodeau's recipe? Well, they both have the same orange concentrate. So they're starting off with the same orange flavor. So we have to compare the waters. Miss Lee uses 10 waters to Miss Thibodeau's 8. So she uses more water. So what does that do to the orange flavor when you use more water? It's going to dilute it, right? It's going to make it less orangey. So Miss Lee's recipe is less orangey than Mrs. Thibodeau's. And now you're ready to do your independent practice.